Dun 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 you probably saw the last two episodes. If not, uh, we're just going strong tonight and reviewing we are, three. We are. Hey, well, beers. Unfortunately, we're not going to be doing the mixture at the end because we've been drinking all of them. Yeah, they're down to the last drop. They're really almost too good to mix. They uh, are. They really are too good to mix. This one is Nogneo. 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 Norwegian brewery. I am sorry. I am not Norwegian. I am Canadian. And, and I'm drunk. What yeah. isn't it? Yeah, when? well, I'm specifically drunk now because the last couple of beers we had were like 12.5 They were 12.5 and 16, and, 16 and, and now we got a 10%. Yep. Now, you've been saying you want to be doing an India Pale Ale, and you like your India Pale Ales. Well, I've, I've been getting into IPAs a little bit more recently because I hated them. They were bitter. They were disgusting to me. But I've kind of grown and matured in my taste these days. And so now suddenly I have this entire world opened up to me of all these different IPA beers that I've never drinking before. So I've been experimenting with that. So. I've got to ask you. Hmm. The Maiden in the Shade, is that the one that gave you the clincher of going into IPAs? It, it pretty much was. I don't know if I'd say it was 100%, but uh, Maiden in the Shade, wow, that was a good beer. It was. Um, it was. Um, I've been trying a bunch of IPAs recently uh, at the old National Beer Hall that I work at, and I, I enjoy them because at, usually at first sip I don't completely like them, but the flavor changes through the entire pint. And that's yeah. really interesting. It's not like you're sipping the exact same thing every fucking time. It, it just gets different. Your palate adjusts to it. Your tongue gets used to it. And that's kind of fun. That's kind of fun with IPA. So. Nogneo Imperial IPA. IPA. So I'm going to let the guy with the fucking contacts read it because obviously I'm blind as a bat with all my glasses. This is kind of an interesting one, guys. Um, now, you recently tried their 1000 and 1000 first uh, yep, beer. Yep, I did. And actually, the, the 1000 was a 10.0. The 1001 was a 10.01%. Yep. I don't know how they got the 01 in there. but Witchcraft. Safe. Uh, I'll, I'll read the write up on the back here, guys. Um, and, and just another brief thing about the Nogneo, Nogneo, if you haven't seen our previous episodes. Um, Nogneo, uh, no reason word for naked island, referring to the uh, island with nothing on it. Little vegetation on yeah. it. Um, no reason brewery, uh, world class. The last two beers we tried, um, I could not give them a higher score. And they they were are both, up there. They're both completely unique. Completely unique. They're so. in their own fucking league, and it's high up there. High standard shit that they fucking do. Fucking world class beer. It so, is. Without further ado, uh, nothing is like celebrating your own milestones. This is our celebration of our 500th batch of beer. It was brewed with joy and splendor. The brewer was wearing a suit, and a TV station filmed the event. Fucking classy shit, guys. I think we're going to have to YouTube that. Yeah. As, <laughs> as, a, as a base for this beer, we have elected to play with numbers. Five hops, 100 IBUs, five malts, and 10% alcohol. Indeed, it is an imperial pale ale, big and bold, great for a celebration. Well, seeming as we're celebrating our 500th episode, I mean our 500th time getting drunk. I mean our 5 millionth time getting drunk. That sounds about right. Um, that's, this <laughs> seems fitting. Yeah, you know. yep, I think so. Um, now, with these guys, the great thing is, is this was bottled in 2012. So it was February... 3rd, 2012, or the 2nd of March, 2012. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck they do these things. But it's still good until 2017. And this is batch number 771. 771. Yep, That's not 66. Six. Thank God he wasn't <laughs> 666. Six. Beer was a fucking pain yeah, in the ass. Yeah, fuck that shit. All right. I'm interested here. I'm interested because I'm going to just make the assumption that this will be the best IPA I've ever had in my life because we're on a roll. The la yeah, the last beer we tried was a coffee beer, and I hate coffee beers, and I've only liked one or two of them, and it was the best coffee beer I ever tried in my life. And I, I'm not a huge IPA fan, but these fuckers, these, these, these brilliant Norwegian fuckers, the stuff they make is just... No, I'm, I'm clearly drunk. Normally clearly an drunk. IPA is a golden color. Yeah. An Imperial IPA is obviously a reddish color. Um, uh, with very, very, um, honestly, like, golden yeah. brown fucking head on it. Yep. It looks to be maybe mid-carbonated. Yeah, it's got, like, a, a solid, like, deep red color. No cloudiness in it. It's just, it's actually, I don't think I've ever really Can seen this color. Can you smell it from here? I have a poor sense of smell. I've got a candy smell almost to it. 
Oh my god. Oh, you can smell the hops. Oh my god. There. Oh my god, that smells so fucking good. You can smell the hops and it's not <sighs> overpowering. Wow. It's not overpowering. It is it's, like a candy smell too. Yep. It's it's a very beautiful candy smell to it. Like it's I could smell it from here. Like it actually had a candy smell, a cotton candy smell yep. to it from here. Yep. And it was actually really good. And it's making my mouth water yet again. It is a fucking candy smell. I've never smelled a beer like that before. And it's an IPA, but an Imperial IPA. So it's a different IPA altogether because they mix the two. Right. I, uh, and again, I've, I've never seen I've never seen a beer quite this color before though. It's it's like a like a yeah. cloudy golden brown an I'm, auburn. I'm, I'm thinking like pinky pinky red with a bit of orange in it. Like it, did it they have like, drugs in those last two beers of yours? I hope so. I hope so too because I don't see the pinky brown. But that's just me. I'm just like because I'm looking directly into the light. Here okay, now I see. Ah, uh, so. now I see where you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, it's got uh, like a, it's a, got an auburn red tinge to it, like a strawberry blonde. Yeah. Oh, my strawberry. Anyways, I'm gonna get myself sleeping on the couch if I continue this, on that way. <laughs> this really is. A, I've never smelled a beer quite like this before. I'm fantastically excited about this now. Three for three, my friend. Three for three, my friend. Cheers. Oh my god. Wow. Fascinating. So you have the malt flavor in there. Yep. You have the IPA, the, the, the hops in there. Yep. But it is a, once again, a fucking perfect balance. Yeah. These I, guys, just, not me. Ma- oh, the, the, just, these are like God tier brewers. This is fucking incredible. Sweet, <laughs> merciful Christ. Wow. I, don't even, I don't even know how to comment on the flavor. I'm it's, just blown it's, away. We just tried three of these beers in a row. We we, we recorded three back to back episodes. You guys aren't going to see them all like that because we don't, we split them up obviously. But like each one of them, holy fucking shit! They're they're amazingly fucking good. It's almost like smooth and buttery in a way. It is. It's like thick You're and absolute, light. It's it's thick. It's buttery. Yeah. It's got the, the the bitterness to it, but it doesn't have the bitterness bite as you swallow. Yeah, and it doesn't have that bitterness from an IPA that like sticks in the back of your mouth and glands and just like eats away at your happiness. Yeah. Um, My precious. What more can I say about this beer? Fucking hell. It's got that kind of sweet syrupy thing on the first sip. But it does have this kind of like thick buttery, buttery way that like goes down your throat. It does. Like I'm, I, I seriously, I could drink all night and enjoy it. Yeah, and I wouldn't yeah. care about getting. It's got oh, the bitter. Wait, we are drunk. Yeah, definitely. It, it's got the bitter <laughs> hoppy bite that like an an IPA has, but it's not like none of it is unpleasant. It's almost no. like they perfectly honed uh, the the art of making an IPA this is it, it is amazingly good like these guys have got the perfect talent down yeah like we've gone three for three or in my case I've gone six for six wow this this has actually been one of the best episodes I've done with you my friend you said you wanted to do have some great beers yeah I have held <laughs> off on these and I, I I'm, I'm fucking just, blown away every single one of them I'm fucking yeah, blown away it's like this IPA is a, I'm not a big IPA fan I've gotten tired of no, it after right. Phillips yeah. Like Phillips, the snow, the snow covered pack or whatever the fuck it was for the yeah. Christmas episode. Like it just, ugh, I didn't yeah. like it because of the fact that it had so many IPAs in there, different styles, but they're all the same bitter fucking shit. Yeah. yeah. This actually has an Imperial ale mixed with the IPAs because it's not just the hops in there. It's got right. the malts in right. there too. And I mean, it's, it's a hundred IBUs, so it is bitter. Like, don't get me wrong, but the malts make it, that tones it down. Yeah. It, 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 like, it's almost like a beer where it's like, if I felt like a slightly bitter beer, I'd instantly go to this. Like, and I've had some good bitter beers, uh, like Optimus Prime. Um, that one's few, good. Yeah, a few, a few others, like, like a really hopsy beers and a few other IPAs. Like, even Maiden in the Shade, uh, one of my favorite beers ever. Um, like, it has that bitter, great, fruity, fruity taste. But we but didn't like, realize there was a grapefruit in there, so, I mean, it's just, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. We thought it was grapefruit, but no, it was the fucking hops. Yep. This. Oh, like, that smells so good. It does. It's like a butterly bitterness goodness. 
guys, you gotta check out this brewery. It's straight up, right away, I'd say um, five out of five. I'd buy it again and get drunk off of it. Yep. Um, I've given that score to the last three beers we did from this brewery. That's never happened before, ever, no. for anyone. And if I had the 1000-1001 uh, 1000, 1000, to share with you, I would be doing that right now. To see if we go five for five. Oh god. But I oh, can god. guarantee fucking tea we'd be going five for five because that 10 and 10.01 percent is fucking good. It's amazing because yep. it was a yep. light and a dark together. Yeah. And I mixed them together and it was a fucking perfect match mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Like these guys have it. They really fucking do. Yeah, it's God tier brewing. It, it is God tier brewing. It is. It is up there with the fucking heavenly brewing. There is not a single brewery that we have found that has this style where they can take every single style of beer yeah. from a fucking malt, from a porter, from an IPA, from a lager, yep. from anything else, and make it taste so fucking heavenly. Yeah, yeah. And have such a great alcohol flavor to it. That it just takes you by the balls, picks you up, shakes you around a little bit, drops you down, and you still want more. Yeah, exactly. I'll draw. I'll draw a, a parallel here, if I will. One of my favorite breweries, uh, uh, Forty Nine Parallel. Um, they make they make mainstream beers, um, but each one of their mainstream beers they make is good. I yep. really haven't had a beer from them that wasn't good. And the thing is, they all kind of they all kind of almost like polish it up, where it's like, here's a hops beer. We polish it up to make it a little bit special. Um, here's, here's a, a milk stout. Here's a milk stout. We polish it up to be a little bit special. Um, very easy to drink. All here's a beers. watermelon fucking beer, and it tastes fucking good. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, so I would say like Forty Nine Parallel is like, yeah, Robo Ruby. It is a fucking IPA Imperial. A fucking another one. Yeah, an Imperial Red IPA. A red one. However, it does not compare. Yeah. Uh, if if that was a one, this would be like a ten. It would. Um, like it's it's it really is night and day. And I, like West Forty or not West Forty Nine. It's the closest. Parallel Forty Nine. Parallel Forty Nine. <laughs> I love all their beers. I buy them like all the time. Whenever I see them, I'm like oh yeah, I pick up a pack of Ruby Tears or Hop Rusty and shit like that. Um, or if the you guys have the Haymaker, whatever it is. Oh, I haven't tried that one yet. Oh, oh fuck. That's over at next door. I know what I'm doing on my weekend. Uh, I guess yep. we're going over next door before you take you to. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Um. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get a little sidetrack, guys. Cause we're drunk. But yeah, that's um, what I'm buzzed. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, like, a, like a, I'm, I'm just trying to paint the parallel of uh, this brewery where they make like all their beers are really good and I like them all. Uh, but this is like this is fantastic. It's it's like dialed up to eleven. If you can see, yeah, the numbers all go to eleven. Look, right across the board. Oh. 11, oh, 11, and most of 11, and then amps go up to 10. Exactly. It's, it's almost like they're doing the same thing where it's like, we're going to try this and this and this, but we're going to do it. We're going to perfect it somehow. We're going to make it that fucking good. Yeah. And they do. They honestly do. And I, mm. I like I said, I, I wanted to show you this for the longest time. In the past two episodes and the third one here, and we're three for three. Yep. This is a trilogy that people like. There's no Jar Jar Binks in here or anything else no, like that. I killed him. And with my penis. I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. It's far bigger. Let's see how well you use it. Anyways, my, no, we're not going to do okay, that. Okay, well. <laughs> we're going to keep it at least uh, me, uh, M and not R. I never wanted to keep it in. I wanted to keep it R. Yeah, of course he does. But no, I, I like the this taste. Like it's got a good taste. You taste the hops in it, but you also taste the malts and everything else. I'm almost it. like I'm almost like too drunk to like properly describe the flavor. It's an amazingly good beer. Like like these guys really it's yeah, so exactly. Good. It's so good. You shed a fucking tear because it's so good. And this is probably gonna be a long episode, even though it's a short fucking beer. Yeah. You know, but God it smells damn like it. candy and it tastes like a warm, lovely sugary like exactly like it's it's just gorgeous the moment he starts making out with his glass i'm turning the camera off sorry fuck <laughs> <laughs> it was bound to happen eventually mm -hmm. i'm surprised it hasn't happened sooner no show. kidding no, get, it, uh, no, uh, get beers naked from them fucking island. get yeah get beers from them and drink them do constantly. it constantly just do Spend it. Spend the fucking money. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I said this. Oh, $12 and, and, for one bottle? Just, just do it. Just, just do it. it. Yeah. Trust me here. I've had a lot of beers. You're not going to regret it. 
And in all honesty, like if you find the bigger bottles of the 500, buy it, yeah. share it with friends. Yeah. If you even find the 250 milliliter bottles of like the Red Horizon or the Dark Horizon yeah. or the bottle cap that fell on the floor, <laughs> just fucking do it. Buy yeah. it. Yeah. Like, seriously, seriously, this is this yeah. is one of the best beers we have ever had on the show. Yeah. And I don't think we can ever compare this to anything else. I think it's time to actually say goodnight, folks, because we've actually been enjoying uh, the this brewery. Yes. And uh, we've had 12.5, 16, and 10. And we're drunk. Very, very drunk. Cheers, Paco. Cheers. We'll see you next time. travel to their brewery or if they flew us up to the brewery I would I'd have sex with every single one of them male or female I'd make sweet love to every one of them whether they wanted me to or not we're not gonna be invited back. <laughs> we will not be invited back if you fucking do that well we God our chance. damn it I'm just How trying I... to convey affection in my preferred manner which happens to be forcing myself on people ladies and gentlemen the single guy